So hello guys welcome back to the complete python series in this video we are going to see about the strings in python so what is strings strings is nothing but the collection of characters in python if we want to store characters we use string data type in python string supports indexing now in this figure you can see that we have a string named python suppose if we want to access the element p then we will use zero as index and suppose if we want to access the last element of the string that is n then we can use either phi as a index or minus one as an index if we want to access elements in forward direction then we use indexing of a positive numbers that is from zero to end of the string and if we want to access element in the backward direction we use the negative indexes that is minus 1 minus 2 and so on now let us see some basics of string first let us see how to create a string to create a string we can just take a simple variable and assign it to a string so i am taking here s as a variable and assigning a string python to it suppose if we want to print this string then we can just use print function and pass the variable in it this will print the string so you can see that python is been printed now the next point is about string concatenation now let us take two strings that is s1 which is initialized to hello and s2 which is initialized to world now if i want to concatenate these two strings s1 and s2 then we can use plus operator that is in print s1 plus s2 this will concatenate the strings s1 and s2 and then print now you can see that the two strings hello and world are been concatenated now the next point is about indexing and accessing the elements of the string here we create a string s and initialize it to python now if you want to access the first element that is p then we can access it with using indexing such as s then in square bracket we can write zero this is a forward indexing now suppose if we want to access the last element of the string then we can use minus one as index this is backward indexing so this statement should print p and n now let us check it by running the code here you can see that we have successfully accessed the first element and the last element now the next point is slicing slicing is nothing but a method of extracting elements from a sequence from a starting point to an ending point here we have a string named hello world now suppose if we want to access only the hello from the given string then we can use string slicing so now i want to access only the hello part of the string so i will use slicing s is the string name then in square we can write the starting index as 0 and ending index as 4 but if we use 4 it will only print h e l l because this index is excluded so we have to use 5 that is ending part plus one now let us see here you can see that we have accessed hello now suppose if we want to access all the elements except the last three index of the string then we can write print 
as then we can leave starting index as blank so that it will by default consider the starting index and the ending index will be minus 3 so that the minus 3 indicates that the last three elements will be skipped and remaining elements will be printed. So you can see that the last three elements are skipped and the remaining elements are been printed. Now suppose if we want to print the alternate elements of the string then we can use the gap part in slicing. Here I am leaving starting index and ending index as blank so it will consider by default and in the gap part we can write 2 then it will print the alternate elements of the string. Now you can see that the alternate elements are been printed. This was all about slicing in string. Now let us see some built-in functions for strings. Here we have a string s which is initialized to python. Now this python is in lowercase suppose if we want to convert this string to uppercase we can just use upper function that is s dot upper this will print the string in uppercase you can see that the string python is been converted to uppercase Similarly, if you want to print it in lowercase, then we can use function lower. Now, let us take an another string S2, which consists of some capital letters and some small letters. Now, if we want to swap the cases of this string s2, then we can use swap case function that is s2 dot swap case. This will swap all the lowercase element to upper and all the uppercase element to lower. Now you can see that all the elements are swapped. Now, if we want to check whether the string is in uppercase or lowercase we can use is upper and is lower function that is s dot is upper this will return true if the string is in uppercase suppose if we want to check for lowercase then we have to check for is lower if the string is in lowercase this function will return true now you can see that the first print statement has written output as false. This is because string is not in uppercase. And the second print statement has written true because the string is in lowercase. Now if you want to just capitalize only the first letter of the string, then you can use capitalize function. This will capitalize only the first letter of the string. You can see that only the P is in capital and the remaining letters are in the lowercase. Now if you want to check the length of the string, we have an inbuilt function length to check it. Let us check it. To check the length of the string, we have to just pass the string in length function now you can see that the length of string is 6 now i have taken three strings first string consists of digits second string consists of alphabet as well as digits and the third string consists only of alphabets now if we want to check whether the string consists of only the digits then we can use is digit function this function will return true if the string consists all the digits then suppose if we want to check whether the string consists alphabets then we can use is alpha 
function this function will return true if all the elements are of alphabet now suppose you want to check whether the string consists of alphabets as well as dig digits then you can use is alphanum function so let us check it now let us run this code you can see that the all the answers are true this is because string s1 consists of all the digits and string s3 consists of all the alphabets while string 2 consists of some part of alphabet and some part of number so this was all about the strings and the basic string functions in python thank you